Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be a book and bookish items haul. If you didn't already know from previous videos, July is the month of my birth. It's right at the beginning of the month. So I had uh, some treats for my birthday, which meant that I could get some books. Um, and I thought I would come on and show you what I picked up. First of all, I'll show you what I treated myself to. Uh, all three of these items came from an Etsy shop called Tea and Fairy Tales. And um, I will leave the uh, shop and the channel link down below for you. The first item that I picked up from the Etsy shop is a cute new little key ring, which will look fabulous on my car and house keys. Um, so I will just hold that one up, see if I can get that one to focus for you. So as you can see, it says going home to read. It's in this gorgeous cinnamon brown colour and it has a cute little tassel on the end. Not too intrusive, not too big. It's very lightweight um, and I just absolutely love it. And yes, it will go perfectly on my key rings because usually when I'm leaving anywhere, that's what I'm doing is I'm going home to read. The next item, I'm not sure how well it's going to show up on camera, um, but it's this sticker that says books are magic. Um, this is to go on one of my book carts that I've bought. I've got one for the living room, one for the bedroom. Um, it's a cute little silvery, purpley, uh, bluish colour. Um, so yes, it's really cute and I'm looking forward to sticking that onto one of the shelves. Also, uh, the seller is really great. She sell, sends you complete instructions on how to attach it to whatever you're attaching it to as well. Um, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to sticking that one on. And then the final item is one that I'd wanted since I first discovered her channel and I'd seen it on other things and it is this TBR bag in cream, black and gold writing. Again, this is to sit in the top of one of my book carts so I can put some physical books in it that I want to read. I can stand my Kindle in it um, when I'm not using it. I can stand uh, my tablet in it when I'm not using it. Um, and I might even put some of my stationary bits and pieces in there as well, some of my journals and notebooks as well. Um, but yes, it's absolutely gorgeous. It had been out of stock for a while and um, she sent a code to get some money off her, um, her shop um, for people who had been loyal and had bought from her in the past. And when I said, oh, I was hoping to get one of these and she said, oh, it should definitely be coming back into stock very, very soon. So absolutely, definitely looking forward to, um, to using this one and putting it inside my carts. My work colleagues have been very generous and they gave me a gift card uh, to spend in a chain bookstore in the UK called Waterstones and I made full use of that gift card. I did spend a little bit extra money besides um, but I will show you what I bought in there. So as you know I'm now in my own flat um, and I'm not a great cook. I have to admit I'm not the best of cooks. And someone suggested to me that I pick up a cookery book for one. So when I went into Waterstones, I went and had a look in the cookery section and I saw this, Nosh for One. It is a cookery book uh, designed for cooking meals for one person and one person alone. So no more trying to cut um, recipes down from recipe books into what, from four to one and hoping that it works. Uh, this should actually work. Um, and there's lots of interesting recipes in here, um, lots and lots of recipes that I am definitely going to cook and I'm looking forward to starting to build my food shopping around these and um, doing some meal plans for myself and eating better, eating more healthy because right now I'm not really doing that. Um, but yes, so thank you very much to my colleagues for this one. The next book I picked up in Waterstones was one that I definitely, definitely wanted and I thought what better book to put my gift card towards than Galatea by Madeline Miller. It's a very small book and I mean small as in size uh, <laughs> as well as very, very thin. It's just a very, very short story. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed Circe and The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. So I'm really looking forward to reading Galatea. It's another one set in ancient Greece. Um, 
And yeah, I, I could sit and listen to Madeline Miller talk about ancient Greece all day long, I think. So this was a definite must buy for me um, as soon as I had uh, the gift card. And because two books is not enough for me to leave the bookshop with, because, you know, two books is never enough. I decided to carry on and have a look around myself. Um, it could, because my birthday's right at the beginning of the month, so I had a little bit more spare cash at that point. And I had a look to see if any other books uh, took my fancy at that time. And this book is an absolute and complete title buy. Now, I know that we've all bought books because of the cover, but for this book, it was the title. It had nothing to do with the cover. It was completely and utterly the title. And I have no idea why, because there's nothing in it about it that, you know, does anything for me in any other way. So I have no idea. But that book is With Award by Hannah Mathewson. It is fantasy. It is about um, a person who is in a version of London and she doesn't feel like she belongs. But she is then transported to another version of that London and she finds her place in society. Um, and yeah, I'm absolutely looking forward to picking this up. Um, like I say, I, I have no idea what it was. I just saw the word with the ward and I had to pick it up off the shelf um, because it was it, it was one of the books that was spine out, not cover out. Um, so all I saw was the title. Um, absolutely, definitely uh, a title buy. Not something I've ever done before. And the final book that I picked up in Waterstones is, I think it's a dark fantasy romance. I think there might be a romance element to it as well. But that book is Guild by Raven Kennedy. It's the first book in the Plated Prisoner series. I've seen this around quite a bit because the um, most recent book in the series has released. And I think it is having a little bit of hype um, on social media. Uh, so I have been looking forward to it. Um, it's based around the story of King Midas. And... Um, yeah, it's about uh, someone who's taken into King Midas' court and is then betrayed and uh, has to take sides when war comes to town. So it sounds exactly like the sort of book that I read. And like I say, I had been seeing it around everywhere. So I had to pick this one up as well and see whether I would enjoy it or not. While I was in town on that day, I also went into another shop um, in the UK called The Works. They sell books at discounted prices. And the next book I had to pick up because I knew I wanted it. Um, if I hadn't bought it where I bought it, I was going to buy it in Waterstones. Um, but that book is Heartstopper Volume 2 by Alice Oseman. I read Volume 1 in June and absolutely adored it. Uh, I don't remember the last time I sat, I mean, it's, they're graphic novels, so they're not, um, quick, they're not, they're not slow reads, um, they're quick reads, but I literally devoured it in about 45 minutes to an hour when I read volume one. So definitely had to get Heartstopper volume two because I need to continue Nick and Charlie's story. I need to know where it goes. Um, and then hopefully once I've finished reading volume two, I can then watch the Netflix adaptation as well. So my mum asked me were there any books that I wanted for my birthday and of course I said yes. The one that I asked for is one that um, continues a series that I've been listening to on audio and I am actually listening to this book as well at this point. Um, and that book is Ruin by John Gwynne. It's the third book in his Faithful and the Fallen series, continuing the story of Corbin and Nefer, um, and of the wars that are raging in the Banished Lands can't really tell you any more anything more than that um other than I am really enjoying it still really enjoying the series I do still think that at some point I'm going to have to go back and reread the entire series in paperback I fantasy for me is not really something that I can listen to in any great detail on audio I find that I don't follow it quite as closely because I'm usually doing other things when I'm listening uh, so I'm really glad to have a paperback copy of Ruin as well so my mum didn't just stop there. She didn't think that one book was enough, but I only asked her for one book. So she gave me um, a Kindle gift card, an Amazon gift card. And at the same time as I received that, I had an email from Amazon saying that if I signed up with a certain time limit and spent £10 on ebooks within a certain time limit, they would give me an extra £5 credit. 
I'm not going to pass that up. £20 to spend on books. Um, I only bought ebooks uh, with my gift card. I no longer buy uh, physical books from Amazon if I can help it. Uh, the only time I do is when they're self published books um, by romance authors because in the UK they don't tend to get a lot unless they're mainstream and mainstream um, published. They don't tend to get any uh, place in bookstores in the UK. Um, and you rarely see them for that reason. You rarely see them um, in secondhand stores as well. So I did buy a few uh, ebooks and I'll talk you through which ones I picked up. So the first one is The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. This is a romance book. I bought this one because it is the August book club pick for the Literature Club uh, book club. Uh, that I've recently joined and uh, we read romance novels preferably steamier the better uh, and yeah this is our third book I think no fourth book this will be our fourth book fourth month that we're running it and I needed to pick it up anyway so I thought why not get an ebook copy and use some of my credit towards that if you've seen my previous video which is all about the series that are on my TBR or currently reading list um, then you might have watched me talk about the books where there's only one more left in the series to read and one of those I desperately wanted to pick up because I didn't own it and I didn't quite have the funds for it at that point so I thought let's put my spending money towards it and that book is A Grim Baby by M.K. Eden. It's romance, it's alien romance and it's following on from a particular story that started off the entire series and I'm looking forward to picking it up because it's a part of the story that I've been waiting for for quite a while now. So definitely looking forward to picking this one up very, very soon. The next book I bought was The Sea Witch by Sarah Hemming. This is the uh, book club pick for the Just One More Page book club that I belong to as well. This was our July read and Again, I needed to, to buy it, so I thought, you know, I'll use it. Again, it's romance, it's a retelling, and it is a retelling of, um, not The Little Mermaid, but of it's Ursula's, um, the witch Ursula, it's her backstory, if you like. It's how she became the sea witch. Um, and yeah, I've already read it. At the point that I'm filming this, I have already read it, and I did enjoy it, and I'm looking forward to talking about it in my wrap-up, so I will talk about it more there. Um, but yeah, I love a retelling story, um, so this was a definite have to own. And I think there is a second book. I think she's moved on with the story. Um, so I'm looking forward to picking that one up at some point as well. And then with the final bit of money that I had left, I decided that I needed to carry on and continue some series and give myself the opportunity to continue some series. And I picked up The Winner's Crime by Marie Rutkowski. I read The Winner's Curse last year, yes, last summer, um, thoroughly enjoyed it and I just hadn't picked up the sequels to read. It was one that had been sat on my um, TBR for a long time at the point that I read it and then it's just sat languishing on my TBR while I try and read other things instead of buying new books. So I thought, definite excuse um, having money uh, gifted to me, it was the, the, the correct excuse to go and buy this. This is the second book in the series. It's Roman inspired fantasy romance. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing where the story goes from here and where the relationships move. Because I think at the end of the previous one, there was a little bit of betrayal. And yeah, I'm, in, I'm intrigued by that because it was two different sides of the coin coming together. Um, and yeah, that always intrigues me. So definitely this one is gonna be on a series continuation at some point very soon. And the final two books were from the same series. I picked up Charmcaster and Soulbinder, uh, both um, from the Spellslinger series. So that's books three and four, um, because I really enjoyed reading Shadow Black uh, in, did I read it in June or did I read it? I read it in May. I really enjoyed reading it in May. Um, I actually read it as part of my Read It Like J.D. Ray Reads um, video that I did. And I'll try and leave that one linked up in the cards for you. And yeah, I had I had a great time reading that one and I immediately wanted to continue it, but I couldn't get a hold of a copy of Charmcaster anywhere um, from any of the libraries. So I decided, hey, you know what? 
let's purchase it instead. I thoroughly enjoyed the first two books, so there's no reason why I shouldn't own the, the next two in the series as well. So yeah, I picked them up. So those were all the items that I was gifted or used money that was gifted to me or gifted to myself for my birthday. Um, have you seen any here that you like the look of? Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have. If you didn't already know, I make videos. They go up at 6.30pm UK time every Monday. If you've enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye.